the uh, action of the TV studio here at the Cape Argus Pick and Pay Cycle Tour Expo. And I'm here with well-known actress Vanessa Haywood, who is also an avid sportswoman. Tell us about your sports uh, involvement. Have you been doing it for a long time? I actually have. Uh, I've been pretty active since I was about four years old. I don't know where the bug comes from because my, the rest of my family aren't very active. But I started horse riding and swimming and athletics at a really young age and then dancing later on in life. And when I finished university, when I finished high school, I thought, what am I going to do now? And I naturally, I don't know how, I naturally gravitated towards mountain biking. I'd never done it before, and I've been doing it on and off for about um, eight or nine years now. And I've been focusing on it really big, like big time for the last five or six months, preparing for Epic. So you do various sports, I mean, you're running and stuff yeah. like that, but you focus on the mountain biking. Well, actually, it really does depend because I'm crazy about trail running as well, and I'm nuts about exterior. Um, anything that's in the bush and bundu bashing, because I'm a farm girl, then I'm happy. Although I do like a bit of road running and um, I try to do the odd triathlon as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, like last year, I focused on Otter Trail Run, uh, which I... I trained really hard in, in Colorado with Ryan when we were there um, at altitude, so I got some really good training in there. Um, and I kicked out, I loved it, it was awesome. Um, just did that last year. And then, so it just really depends on what race I've entered, so that's where, you know, where, my, where my training focus will lie. Yeah. So after Epic, I'll probably put my bike away just for a couple of weeks and maybe start running a little again. I don't know, everyone has said to me, what are you going to do after Epic? Which race is next? And I'm, I'm not too sure. I'd, I'd like to do Otter again as well. So on Sunday, uh, August, I mean, I believe you're going to do it on this beauty over here? Well, either, I haven't decided yet. I've just got a brand new KTM Strata 4000, which is the road bike. It's insane. Absolutely beautiful. Um, or I might ride my 29er, which is my bike for the Epic. Uh, but I don't know if uh, it's, it's just obviously a slightly heavier bike than the road bike, yeah. so I think I'll probably, yeah, the road bike's probably the way forward. And are you going to ride with it uh, on the end of the I'm riding with uh, Premier Helen Zilla, oh, really? which is wonderful for the iPlay Fair uh, Foundation, which is. Uh, I believe foundation. that's also on Sunday, the, 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 the charity for Sunday, is that in yes, the group? Yes, yes. So, that's what exactly right. is that all about? Well, that's all about basically promoting drug free sport. And I didn't realize how much of a big problem it is until I'd spoken to the chairman of the foundation. And. Um, he was telling me just sort of at, at schoolboy rugby level, the kind of things that the guys are taking, you know, to bulk up and to get stronger and illegal stuff. And I was horrified. And of course, obviously at professional level as well, it, it gets even worse. Um, so really they're all about promoting drug-free sport. And I mean, that's what sport is about. It's about, it's about wellness. It's about being fit and healthy. And if you're putting chemicals into your body that aren't good for you, how is that healthy? So really, for me, it's, I mean, it's a really important uh, charity. Very important. You talked about Epic. Are you going to take it further? I'm talking about the charity now. Further than just Epic, or what's um, the plan? Well, I mean, I am now an ambassador for our Play Fair, but uh, for the APSA um, Cape Epic, I chose two other foundations, because what APSA does is they allow you to choose um, the charity, and they donate X amount of money for every day that you finish. Um, Typical Vanessa Hayward style, I didn't choose one charity, I chose two. I chose JAG Foundation that I've been working with very closely for many years now, and I'm thinking local for my local community, so I chose DOG. Now, just finally, give us a little bit of a secret. What is Helen Zeller like on a bike? She's a machine, you have no idea. Really? I was joking with her, I said to you shouldn't be worried about me riding away from you. I think it's the other way around. So I'm just going to enjoy a Sunday. And... Well, Vanessa, all the best, and I hope it's going to be a great day. Thanks so Excellent. much. Excellent.